Welcome to Vintage Variety. Today we're going to go thrifting again, but this time we're going to do this a little bit differently. I'm going to take you guys to one of my favorite consignment shops. This shop sells higher-end pieces, including furniture, decor, and jewelry. This consignment shop is kind of picky about the things that they carry. Most of the things in here are either going to be vintage, antique, or designer. I'm going to do a walkthrough so you guys can see a little bit of everything that's in the store. They have a lot of furniture. They also have a lot of decorative items and they have purses, jewelry. But as you can see, most of the items that they carry here in the store are very nice and they're all very nicely displayed. I'm going to walk back around to the other side and we're going to look at some of this beautiful artwork that they have hanging up. This store keeps items for a certain period of time and then they slowly begin marking them down. So I always look for the red ticket items because sometimes they're up to 60% off, sometimes 50% off. Another screen, this one's very pretty, and some beautiful antique furniture. Look at this lovely sideboard. I actually used to own one almost identical to this. This area over here is kind of like their clearance area. Most of the items that are in this area and the nearby area are going to be last chance items. Always take a really good look at everything. I have found some pretty nice items in their clearance section. Lots of beautiful glassware of these pieces are vintage and many of them are quite collectible. Lots and lots of decorative items. This is the kind of store that you could go into and you could find really nice things to decorate your home at a greatly discounted price and that's one of the things that I really like about shopping at consignment stores like this one and thrift stores. Some more decorative items mixed in with some artwork. Spotted these pieces. These are nice. These are vintage. Some throw pillows. And then here we have jewelry. Now the jewelry on this rack, all of these pieces are going to be discounted. And I'm going to look through it and see if I find anything that I really like. Now I'm going to take a look at some of the purses as I make my way towards the front area of the store. The nicer pieces of jewelry are going to be in the front. Wow, would you look at this? This is a Kenneth J. Lane, and I really want to buy this. It's not cheap, but it's a pretty good price. They also have about three pairs of Kenneth J. Lane earrings. This is another really pretty necklace too, but I can't get them both, so I probably won't be purchasing this. spotted something over here. This is a vintage tiger's eye necklace. Lots of nice necklaces and bracelets on this rack. That looks like Brighton, but I don't think it is. This necklace over here, this is really interesting, but I don't really know what kind of stone that is, so I'm not going to buy it. I've just spotted a very old purse. It's beaded. I see the straps missing, but I'm pretty sure this is antique. Yeah. This must be the day for Kenneth J. Lane. This is a Kenneth J. Lane bracelet. Some more really beautiful necklaces. That one looks like a J. Crew. Most of these pieces are designer. 
Some of them are vintage, but they have a really good selection. I also like this necklace a lot. I don't think it's signed and I don't know who it's by, but I really like the way it looks. This necklace is vintage and this is Kramer. The items hanging on this rack are a little less expensive. I love the orange necklace. Lots and lots of earrings and many of these are vintage. So I've pretty much concluded my shopping in the store today. I'm gonna go pay for my purchases now and I will show you all the great items I got at the end of the content. I'm back home and I'm ready to share the fabulous finds that I got today at this consignment store. This is probably one of the best jewelry hauls I've ever had. A lot of these pieces were discounted or on sale. There are a few pieces that I paid a little more for, but they are well worth it. I'm going to start with the purse. This is a very old purse, probably antique. You can see that it's beaded. I had thought that the strap was missing, but it's not. I have a purse similar to this and it has a chatelaine hook on it. So this one is most likely missing the hook. Look at the detail on this. The inside of this is leather and it's in excellent condition. This purse is marked German silver. It's more of a nickel type alloy. I have a purse that's similar to this in this book, this is Antique Purses. This is the one that's in the book that's similar. And I also own this purse in my collection. Now this book was published in 1990. In the 1990s, it gave the value for a purse like this as $89. I also picked up this necklace. This one's done in plastic. It's very well made and it looks very 1990s to me. I really liked the color of this. I thought it was a very fun color. This is something that would be really pretty to wear during the summertime. It's not marked and there's the clasp on it. It has a lobster claw clasp. I also picked up this necklace. This is a Swarovski. And I really liked the color combinations that were used in this. It has the swan hang tag. It's also marked on the clasp. And there's the stamping on the back of the swan. I probably paid about $3 for this one. This one was on the clearance rack. Pretty good deal. A lot of people collect Swarovski jewelry. This necklace ended up in my bag and with my things, and I honestly have no idea how. I was picking up a lot of different items. I may have picked this up and forgot to put it back. I mistakenly ended up buying it. This one is a silver tone. It is not sterling. You can see it has a little clover charm, and it also has a clover charm on the clasp. I only paid $3 for it, so it is a piece that I'll hold on to in my collection for a while, and I can always give it to someone or sell it if I decide I don't want it. This is the orange necklace that I mentioned that I really liked. I decided to go ahead and get it. I thought it was really fun and colorful. I think it's a very pretty color of orange. These pieces are dyed shell. And I really just like the way this looks. So I went ahead and purchased this one and it turned out that it was also on sale. Ended up paying only about $6 for this necklace. This one really caught my eye. This one is a torque, has that hammered texture to it. This is an artisan type piece. I don't see any signatures or markings on it. This piece, however, is actually a brooch. So this can be taken off and worn as a brooch or it can be worn as a pendant on the necklace. I believe that this is done in a brass and a copper. This necklace is 
a piece by Kramer and it is vintage. Kramer was started in 1943 by Lewis Kramer. They did produce some pieces for door. Most of their pieces were very feminine and they were also very quality. I'm excited to get this piece. I love pieces of Kramer jewelry. I have a few in my collection already. This piece is in pristine condition. This one has a hook clasp and it is marked on the clasp Kramer. You guys a really good view of how well constructed this piece is. A lot of the Kramer pieces will be signed Kramer, Kramer New York, or Kramer of New York. This was regular $13.99 and I ended up paying about $7 for it. I do feel like it was well worth the price that I paid for it. I did decide to go ahead and get this one. This one is not marked. It could be a piece that came with just the hang tag or was marked on the packaging. I purchased this because of the quality of it. This is a very well-made piece of jewelry. Here's the clasp on it. I think this is just a really beautiful statement piece. They had a lot of really nice Kenneth J. Lane pieces. I have quite a few of his pieces in my collection. And anytime I can run across them at a reasonable price, I like to add more. So I picked up this faux snakeskin bracelet. These were originally available on QVC. These you can usually find on resale sites such as eBay for around $30. Zoom in so you guys can see where it's signed. I've done content on Kenneth J. Lane, and there were some early pieces that he did like this. They were not the same shape. I managed to pick this bracelet up for $7.99. I thought that was a really good deal for a collectible piece of Kenneth J. Lane jewelry. This is the necklace that I was the most excited about finding mainly because I think this is just an absolutely beautiful piece of jewelry. This is the most expensive piece that I bought at that store. This is not absolutely gorgeous. This is all glass, or rather crystal. This is a newer Kenneth J. Lane, and you can still purchase this necklace at Kenneth J. Lane's store, his website, or at Saks Fifth Avenue. And just to give you an idea of the value of this piece, I'm going to show you what I found on it when I looked online. I do want to stress that this is the retail value of the necklace when it's new. I did not pay anywhere near that amount for it. It was on consignment, so I did get it at a heavily discounted price. This is exact Fifth Avenue, and it is currently on sale for $750. They list it as a 22 karat gold plated clear crystal drop bib necklace. Here the necklace is again at the Kenneth J. Lane website. On their website, this necklace retails for about $810. They actually had two of these in the store and I purchased both of them. This one is my favorite one. I like the clear look, but the other one is just as beautiful and I'm gonna show you that one. This one is done in kind of like an amber color. You can see the stones have that yellowish, brownish amber tint to them, like amber glass. They are both extremely beautiful necklaces. I still feel like the clear one is my favorite of the two. I was unable to find anything online that was in this color. I found two different websites that had the clear one, but I did not find this one, and I'm not sure if that means that this one's already sold out or if they had a limited quantity of this one and they no longer have any more of them. So if you know anything about this beautiful necklace in this color, definitely let me know in the comments. There is the KJL mark decided to also purchase a couple of pairs of Kenneth J. Lane earrings. These are on their original card, and aren't they stunning? And there's the marking, the KJL mark on the inside of these earrings. I did look these up online, and these are also still available. 
They have these at Saks Fifth Avenue and they're on clearance, regular $175. These are also Kenneth J. Lane. And there's the marking on the back. The closest thing I could find on the Kenneth J. Lane website for these earrings would be this pair that retails for $135. You can tell that they're a little bit more substantial. My guess for these would be that they're a little bit older and that they no longer sell them. I also picked up these beautiful Weiss earrings. They almost look like little bees or little flies and these are vintage. These were regularly priced $8, and I picked them up for around $3.19. They were also on sale. Flip them around so you can see the mark on the back, Weiss. Weiss jewelry was also very quality jewelry, and it is highly collectible. So I feel like $3.19 was a really good deal for these. I want to thank you for taking time out of your day to share these items with me. If you haven't already, please like, subscribe, and ring the bell for notifications on more content about collecting vintage and antique items. Thank you again for watching, and I hope you all have a wonderful day.